Hey, Psych2Goers, what do you pay attention to in life? There are some things smart people just don't waste time on. Most of the time, it's because they learn from past experiences, so they don't make the same mistakes again. So what is it that intelligent people never pay attention to? Here are six things they often just don't do. Number one, they don't let failure stop them. How do you respond to failure? Our failures can become a learning experience for us if we change our outlook. If you fail, you'll have learned from that experience and have an easier time trying again. Smart individuals don't let their past mistakes define them. They instead try to learn from them and then look at those past mistakes as a guideline of what not to do. Number two, they don't waste time. How do you normally spend your time? Do you work hard or work smart? If you know you need to study the material a bit longer before attempting the work, do so instead of wasting time trying, knowing the answer is in the textbook. Or maybe you have a different study habit that gets the job done, or know you need a short break every 40 minutes in order to work your best. Being smart about how you spend your time can also save you some. This could even be catching up on your reading while waiting in line for a taco, or working on another assignment that's less tedious as a break before tackling the big project again. Most importantly, knowing when to take a break and rest your mind will benefit you substantially when you attempt work again. Number three, they don't over-rely on other people. Everybody needs a friend every now and then, but smart people often don't rely on another person to the extreme. Ask yourself, Will your world really fall apart if your friend doesn't help you on this big school project you've been delaying? Or is there a way you can work on it on your own and still be sufficient enough? Every case is different, but oftentimes we can underestimate our ability and let fear guide us into relying on someone else entirely. Rely on yourself first with certain tasks and know when you really need someone else's help with it. Number four, they don't let their errors define them. Do you beat yourself up because of your past mistakes? I shouldn't have said that, I'm so dumb. Or, why did I do that? Now everyone thinks I'm a horrible person. Sound familiar? Truth is, we're human. And with that come some mistakes every now and then. But don't let your errors define you. Similar to not trying again after a failure, some people tend to ruminate on what went wrong to the point that it stops them from moving on. So you made a mistake. There have been some errors in the past. Learn from them, correct your mistakes, and grow from them. Number five, they don't hold grudges. Do you have a grudge against someone? Holding grudges is never a good idea. Not only can it cause us stress when we think about this person, but sometimes thinking about a stressful experience or person can throw our body into a fight or flight response. Our body may believe that there is threat or danger and stress is sure to come along with that response. Holding on to any response is never a good thing for both our mental and physical health. That's why it's best to work towards letting go of any grudges you have against someone or something. This can be very difficult for many, but it's worth working towards. You may just feel more at ease doing so and have an easier time moving on from any past pain from this individual. And number six, they don't say yes to everything. Are you afraid of saying no because you don't want to upset others? Sometimes saying no can be a good thing. You don't need to say yes to every favor or request from a friend, especially if you've been overworked or tired lately. Emotionally intelligent individuals recognize when they're burnt out and acknowledge when they simply don't want to do something someone asks of them, and they know when to say no. If you already have a full plate, saying yes to more things won't do you any favors. Know your limits and know when to say no, and yes, when you really mean it. So which of these things do you not pay attention to? Do you do any of these things? Feel free to share with us in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.